Hi girlies, it's Grabby. Welcome back to my channel. Um, we're going to be opening more shit from Neoku today. Shocker. This won't be as big a haul necessarily as the last one because I think there are fewer orders but there's a lot of really cool stuff that I'm very excited about. I've already taken everything out and taken my name off it all and I also had to like you know check the authenticity of some things and check that I didn't get scammed but I think we're in the clear and I'm very excited. <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of twice obviously a lot of 17 which like I don't know how all that got in there but and there's also going to be a lot of Pokemon cards because I've been buying Pokemon. I'm a Pokemon gal, you know, basically. Let's just get straight into it, I guess. Firstly, let's do, you know what? We'll mix it up, okay? We'll start off with this one. Why not? This is, um, oh, Aladdin. This is one of Geo's pobs from With Youth. As I think I've mentioned before, I collect like select pobs for my bias line whoever that is during the era and I tried to pick out ones that matched this time instead of just getting all of the ones from the same stores because they were just not cohesive sets so there are I think there might be one or two in here as well all of the members have a pob that looks similar to this they're all just from different stores for some reason so I got this one and oh my god isn't she so gorgeous like, obviously it's a cute car, but also like she slayed this concept. Oh, we'll chuck her in the corner. I hope I have enough to fill out the frame. Part of me is worried that I won't. <laughs> anyway, on to some men now. Oh my god, you guys, what is wrong with me? <gasps> oh, hello. <laughs> That's not even what I bought this for. Obviously, I was just getting his uh, carrot cards. I am doing OT13. Oh, hello for these carrot version cards and I'm three cards from being finished like it's serious but um yeah no we'll look at these I think uh this listing also came with some other random shit that I didn't want or need but to be honest I'm not sure how much I should resell this for if I want to get rid of it so I might just keep these oh my god wait wait he's such a cutie though I kind of don't want to <laughs> I don't want to part with them oh my god girl why am I shaking hello um He's adorable and gorgeous. I'm not sure. Okay, this one's HMV, clearly. I'm not sure where the other one is from. This should be the full set. Okay. Gorgeous. These were, oh my god, these cards were such a pain in the ass for no good reason. Like, I've been trying to get full member sets when I can for these because it's just such a waste of time and money to buy them individually. But he was so difficult. Uh, and like, I kind of understand it because he's Mingyu but like man really <laughs> can you'll just be normal like I know he's a handsome man but I mean this one especially obviously I think people really wanted and can I blame them no oh my god there really is a lot of 17 I'm gonna try and mix it up but we do have more 17th heaven this is uh it should be a, a set oh my god I'm gonna have to snip him out of there I'm sorry king so I did not buy this for this card in the front I got it for him Oh my god, gorgeous. Because I am also doing OT13 flower crowns. I'm only missing three of the boys, but like, you know, it's been a little bit of a struggle to finish out the set. But we have him and this one as well. These are from the same version. Oh my god, the way that my phone handles bright colors. What is wrong with you, girl? One thing about me is I'm going to have freaking technical problems, huh? Oh my god, okay. Let's start with some Pokemon. <laughs> I think there are probably as many individual Pokemon cards in this as there are individual photo cards. I went a little bit crazy because I was finding some really awesome bulk sets of things. So here we have a bunch of shinies from, I think, I'm not familiar with Japanese set names, forgive me. Uh, this is the Japanese version of Paldean Fate. I think it's Shiny Treasure EX, I want to say. So we have a bunch of these shinies. I really love these. And I bought it specifically because I wanted... Ah! Tinkerton! This is my favorite Pokemon for anyone who's curious. Fun story, actually. Before this generation, because this is a very new Pokemon, I couldn't pick one favorite Pokemon. I had like several, maybe like a top five. Oh my god. Look at that sparkle. But yeah, I couldn't choose a favorite Pokemon. And honestly, I feel like... It's just because my favorite Pokemon was out there, but it hadn't like come out yet. You know what I'm saying? And then when I saw Tinkerton, I was like, oh, 
that is the one for me. This is a WUG trio. <laughs> so yeah, this was a really cheap bulk set. So of course I had to snatch it up. Okay. <laughs> this is Abra. Then we have um, Dolive, I want to say. I haven't played um, Pokemon Scarlet in like a year. <laughs> <laughs> I played it a lot when it came out and I finished it really quickly and then I kind of abandoned it but we have this one. Oh my god I just love the the texture I feel like obviously these cards aren't the best way to illustrate it but like Japanese Pokemon cards do texture so much better than English and I don't know I am not much of a Japanese collector but when I realized that Makari Japan is actually a really good resource for getting Pokemon cards I was like well, what's stopping me from just collecting Japanese cards instead? Usually I only collect English, but there's really no difference. So I just, I've been snatching them up, you know? I've been finding some really cool deals. This is a great Pokemon as well. <laughs> He's a very good large boy. And then lastly, we have this one. Very cute. <laughs> Be ready for a lot more Pokemon. I'm actually thinking of doing a video. Also, we have this hee <laughs> I'm thinking of doing a video where I show you guys my Pokemon card collection and it's like I know this is like a photo card channel and I don't want to be like oh let me know if you're interested in that because at the end of the day I'm gonna do whatever I want you know I'm not making videos to appease other people I'm gonna make the videos I want to make about my interests but uh yeah definitely let me know if you want to see that because I'll probably do it anyway but like you know anyway <laughs> this is a strange little oh not my reflection this is a strange little like two cut postcard thing from the music plant lucky draw for with youth i snatched her up we will chuck her over there we are gonna have a lot of stuff <laughs> actually let's do some men now i'm gonna go back and forth and uh and try to mix it up and keep it interesting we are saving the most exciting things for last though trust me then we have this is, you may recognize this card from my channel, but I actually bought a full set of all of his cards from this album. Oh my God. I just love him so much. Like that's just, ugh, I have a crush on him. <laughs> Me simping for a man in the year of our Lord, 2024. Ah, oh, these cards where he's outside are so beautiful. Uh, oh my God. I love him. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. And this set um, was really affordable. So I had to snatch it up and this one's a dupe, but like, whatever. The other one was damaged anyway, so it's probably a good thing. Let's do, oh my God, <laughs> another one of these. <laughs> I finally started to work on my uh, dupes collection again. I mean, it's like the lowest of low priorities, but anytime I see one of these for like a super low price, I snatch it up. And I think this is like the sixth out of nine that I was needing for a full page. So, you know, it doesn't hurt to make a bit of progress on that. Now for some more 17. Um, I think this is two of his carrot version cards and I've actually had I think two Neoko hauls come in since I filmed that last one but like those ones just weren't worth filming I guess you know. Um, so these are two of his cards and the other two what the hell oh my god bro come out not like that come out of the <laughs> come out of the plastic. Um, the other two cards of his, oh my god, oh my god, girl. Oh, this is embarrassing actually. Well, I'm just going to keep talking. The other two cards of his from this I got in one of those previous holes. So we will take him out. He was also a huge pain in the ass to get for these. Like even for carrot version cards, it is impossible to buy this man. Anyway, we will do, oh my god, I'm very excited about this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of collecting as much Tinkerton line things as I can. So, oh, please come out. I hate when people package with these stupid sandwich bags. I don't think it left a dent. Thank God. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I have this card or not, actually. But either way, I, I just love it. Like, I'm really into collecting the art rares specifically. So, of course, an art rare of one of my favorite evolution lines. I had to snatch it, you know? Then we have another With Youth pop. It's not her Nemo card. 
I sometimes it's hard to tell the difference to be honest this um oh crap where is this from I can't remember actually off the top of my head but it was really cheap so oh my god guys more Pokemon <laughs> please don't be mad actually I don't really care if you're mad or not if you don't like it don't watch as soon as I saw this card I needed to have it this is poor me and uh I just love this Pokemon so much the whole evolution line but like just oh man it's just so cute oh my god oh I love it oh it's so adorable again with the art rares man I just love them what can I say all right <laughs> more 17th heaven carrot cards <laughs> this is Woozy's full set I have to assume here we go oh my god he's such a cutie I might love him a little <laughs> okay we'll put him down there I might not fill up the frame oh my god wouldn't that be crazy okay we're gonna do a bigger thing now because I have this Jonghyun twice tv six postcard yes <laughs> I've been really getting into these more and more I have a couple um well you'll hear about that in my next video oh not the face reveal but yeah no I'm big into bigger inclusions at the moment and I really want to get more of these I have a couple of her twice tv postcards already but some of them are harder than others and they're just not easy to find you know what I mean but I'm really happy I think I got a really good deal on this oh my god what the hell why can't I open shit <laughs> some some of these are definitely more expensive and rarer than others but oh my god what the hell okay I'm just gonna rip this plastic I think she's just like naked in the big top loader oh my god oh my god girl <sighs> that is all right I mean hey I will definitely make good use of that so here she is this is from when they went to Singapore oh my god hello queen please focus and it's actually in pretty good condition I mean like there's a tiny little nick on that corner but like damn yeah no I'm impressed looks good let's do oh my god I think there's more 17 in here than there is twice what is wrong with me I've been overcome with some kind of terrible disease that makes me love men and I need it to stop right now and speaking of men I love <laughs> I was so happy to finally find this card because he was kind of a pain but I just this guy I don't know what it is I'm gonna again with the weird colors showing up on my phone um I got this set of flower crown DK and one of his mini cards I think from the other version but oh my god he is so beautiful I'm so glad to have him <laughs> I will chuck him over there why not on that note we also have <laughs> another flower crown card like I said I'm pretty damn close to being done with these I think I'm missing Chongan, Wanu and someone else Woozy I think but obviously <laughs> Chongan and Wanu in particular are really oh those cards are expensive so I am abstaining until hopefully the prices drop I'm trying to get him out of here hold on oh my god so gorgeous I don't know why I'm showing you the back oh my god love him this whole concept I'm just obsessed with um oh my god you guys <laughs> if you've been following my channel oh another one okay if you've been following my channel you will know that I've been trying to complete this set and it, it's not even that hard it's just been a slow process for no good reason but we have this random nylon which we will chuck down there and then we have what we bought this for which is her special card this is the last one I needed and uh she has like what is that like a, a bubbly glittery hollow it's very pretty but there she is I'm pleased to have that let's do more Pokemon <laughs> I don't really go out of my way to buy art rares and, and like cheap Pokemon cards individually ooh, unless I really like them and this was like 300 yen I think but oh, I'm getting the shit off there hold on <laughs> this was like 300 yen and I am so obsessed with this illustration oh my god let me show you all isn't that so vibrant and gorgeous this is a uh, brute bonnet which is a paradox version of Amoongus I don't know I'm explaining this <laughs> as if you guys don't know much about Pokemon it's one of the new Pokemon basically 
And I just loved this artwork so much. I thought it was beautiful. It's by Camille, who is known for very unique and interesting artwork. So I'm, I really wanted this card and I'm glad to get it. <laughs> then, oh my God, <laughs> why did I buy this? Hold on. So I have this fantasy of collecting OT1317, like fully, or at least for one or two eras. And it's probably not gonna happen, but I, <laughs> I bought this Vernon set. I think these three cards all together were like 300 yen for the set. So I had to snatch them up and uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with them right now uh, because at present I have no intention of doing OT13 for this era, but I really like this man. <laughs> oh, what's wrong with me? Jesus. I just think he is the Lommel and I wanted these cards. So why not? I don't know where I'm going to put them, what I'm going to do with them but I don't know if I'll be able to part with them. So <laughs> he he's staying with me for now. Uh, okay, ooh, all right, let's do this one. Oh, I'm excited about this. I have been making progress on the lane one Christmas cards and we have Chewy, oh, hang on, it's got the little, I don't think I've actually owned one of these weird little overlay things before, but I'm kind of scared. I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to damage the card. Oh, well, too late, she is damaged. <laughs> Ah, uh, did the seller disclose that? Probably not, but that's okay. Um, oh my God. Well, let me actually see what this does. Hold on. I think it's, oh, oh yeah, no, that's too scary for me. I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that. Um, <laughs> I'm taking it off, but I guess the back like moves and stuff. She is damaged, um, but you won't be able to see it when she's sleeved and in the binder. So, oh my God, it is kind of apparent actually. You know what? That's the risk you take, I guess. Still, pleased to have it. I think I'm only missing maybe um, three hollows and like five selfies-ish, six maybe. I was definitely trying to prioritize <laughs> the hollows because I knew that they would be a little harder and more expensive. So I wanted to get those out of the way. Um, and getting Sana especially has been very nice because I knew that she was gonna be one of the more difficult members anyway. Um, oh, again, I'm, oh no, this one moves smoothly. All right, should we see what it does? Can you, what the hell is it meant to do? Whatever that means. Oh, well, she also has a bit of damage. I feel like it's honestly, it's probably not the easiest to find these cards in really good condition nowadays. I feel like all of these cards have probably just changed hands so many times. You know what I mean? Like when a release is that old, Hang on, <laughs> we have more Pokemon. Let me show y'all. <laughs> this is another poor me uh, from Shiny Treasures at EX. I just really like this. I, like, it's so cute. I love him. But like I was saying, when a release is that old and also like a card is as collectible as these ones are, you know, they're gonna change hands a lot of times. Chances are this card and this one and all the Christmas cards have had plenty of owners over the last, God, how long has it been? 2016 like seven and a bit years oh my god you guys <laughs> god um anyway <laughs> this is the shiny poor me oh not my reflection oh let's do some more jongyeon there's almost no jongyeon actually in this which is kind of um sick and twisted but we do have this which is very cool this is a set of two of her i think they're like lucky draw benefits kind of like this that's i'm pretty sure that's what they are but they're bookmarks from between one and two could I tell you which store each one is from? No, not off the top of my head, unfortunately. Um, I never got these during the era because I wasn't collecting everything as thoroughly as I do now. And I also wasn't like a bigger inclusions girly back then. So let's see what the condition is like. I'm a little nervous. Uh, oh, she looks all right, actually. Not bad. This one's got a signature on the back. And then, should we... There you go. She can go horizontally down there. This one is matte, but it honestly looks really good. What the hell? <laughs> Why did she did a really like elongated flat signature for this? There's that. Yeah, I don't know why I bought those, but I guess I just saw the set for a good price. Let's do more Pokemon. After this, I promise there's only one more Pokemon thing. I promise. But 
Um, I actually forgot what this is. I think this is just like a bulk set of art rares. Again, you guys, like I'm really stingy, especially when it comes to buying Pokemon cards because photo cards are always going to be my top priority. So I only buy things when I think they're really good deals. And I guess this was one of them. I can't remember how much I paid for this lot, but we have a bunch of different art rares and I will show you them individually. So we have this one. I'm just going to leave them in the sleeves. I can't be bothered. Oh my God. Isn't that so beautiful? Oh, crap. <laughs> I really like this one as well. I really, oh, face reveal. I really wanted that. And then, oh my God, <laughs> this is a Pokemon I really enjoy. Like big, round, fat metal boys. I also love Magnezone. Like, oh my God. And this one is oh, it's such a cute card. It's really gorgeous artwork. And what's crazy is cards like this are so affordable because they're not like the, the special art rares or the secret special illustration rares or whatever they are. Like the ones with texture that are like hard to pull. These are just regular ones that are fairly easy to pull really. And they go for dirt cheap usually. Oh my God, so cute. <laughs> and they're really collectible if you're someone who enjoys really cool illustrations. Oh, there's so many cards, wow. Okay, and here's the last one. God, isn't that so cool? Let's get the rest of the Pokemon out of the way. Oh my God, we did fill the frame, <laughs> but it's all Pokemon in 17. I, why am I in my twice anti-era? I guess I just haven't had a ton of twice stuff to buy because the comeback was happening. And I literally finished this package up and consolidated it pretty soon after the comeback. That's why there's only a couple of with you things in here. I just like squeeze some pops and stuff in. I don't know if <laughs> this is definitely more art rares, so I'll show you them. Oh my God, this one's so beautiful. Hello. I just, I want to stare at this all day. It's so gorgeous. Where am I going to put these? Oh my God. <laughs> I'm going to leave these in the sleeves as well because why not oh my god gorgeous but yeah um i'm not sure if i'm gonna film <laughs> i love this this is really pretty as well i'm not sure if i'm gonna film my next uh neo cure haul uh i would like to because there is some cool stuff in there but we'll see i haven't been adding much to it recently because i've been in my povo era a little bit but <laughs> this is a cute one. Oh my god love this one as well oh my god i'm gonna have to stop putting shit on top of other shit. This is crazy. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I've i definitely been getting some more pobs and I have some Nemo cards waiting at the Nokia warehouse and I also have a bunch of 17. <laughs> you guys need to stop me, it's serious. Ah, that one's so cute. Oh, I really love this one as well. We have cloth. I think I have this card in English, actually. <laughs> this is a very random set uh, of cards. They're all from different sets and things. So I definitely have this one. I think I have this as well. I might even have it in Japanese, actually, I forget. So it might be a dupe, but <laughs> my cousin also collects Pokemon cards. So I'll see if she wants that. But I really like this card as well. Oh my God, where the hell am I putting this? Jesus Christ. <gasps> and this one is so cute. I'm really happy about that. And then the last one, is this one very cool ah oh, i'm really excited about this haul actually but like i said we're saving the most exciting things for last and i'm realizing now i'm definitely going to have to start stacking shit on top of each other so <laughs> that's cool let's do this cheong pob real quick i don't remember what stores <laughs> each of these are from there's just too many this time around like for the eras where it was like only photo book version pobs and there were only like a few stores I could remember usually what's from where but oh my God, where am I putting her where am I putting her okay she can go there we have more 17 <laughs> but yeah no there's just too much you can't expect me to remember it all um I'm not even gonna bother trying but this is his full set of you made my dawn cards they look weird as hell because the cut is so round and like these photos are all really like muted but you know, they look legit to me. Is this one, oh my God, focus please. I've pretty much figured out, I definitely don't need this as a HMB card, but I'll take it. I've definitely figured out how I wanna be collecting 17 now. It's just a matter of um, starting it all up, I guess. So 
I don't know. Am I giving you spoilers for my future YouTube endeavors? Maybe. Oh my God, where am I? <laughs> where am I putting them? He can go up there. And then the last one. These cards really are not my favorite at all, but okay. <laughs> one of the last things is this miscellaneous Geo set. I kind of bought this on a whim because it has cards that I really wanted. And I've just been like kind of in a mood to buy non-album for Geo, which I used to collect her non-album pretty thoroughly. And then I sold pretty much all of my collection to, it was actually mostly to one person. Hi, if you're watching, <laughs> they probably know who they are. But yeah, I have just kind of been getting back into it. So this is her fourth fan kit card. I love the backs of these. And this is one of her lucky draws from Ready to Be. Again, these are all cards I really wanted, so I'm pleased to have them. Oh my God, I don't want to cover anyone's face. And we'll see where that goes, you know? I don't really have any plans currently to like collect anything specific for her, but I'm just buying cards I like and I still have no idea where they're gonna live or what I'm gonna do with them. But, oh my god, I just, oh, her in this concept, her in this outfit, <gasps> these cards are so gorgeous. I just needed to snatch them, what can I say? Um, she can go, oh, hello, she can go there, why not? And then, before we get to the really exciting stuff, as if all of this wasn't exciting enough already, <laughs> I have one thing that I really want to show you that I have wanted for a very long time. So, I own like a lovely, like a plush keychain for every single member of TWICE. Some of them I have multiple, except for Chaeyoung. I could not find a Changvili. I've been looking for nearly a year, right? To find a reasonably priced Changvili on Makara Japan. And I've just not been able to until now. I finally got one. <laughs> it is the uh, breakthrough Changvili. And the, the breakthrough ones famously are usually the cheapest. I don't know why. I guess people just don't really, oh, hello, let me, <laughs> let me do her up real quick. Hold on. I don't know if people just don't like the breakthrough lovelies, but yeah, I don't know. I'm really pleased to have it. I, at this point I'll take what I can get because I just really wanted one. And I don't know why it's so hard to find chain lilies, but here we are. So now I finally have a lovely for every single member of TWICE. <laughs> Now onto the extra serious business, as if this wasn't serious enough business, okay? Why is the focus being like that? Hello. I think my phone doesn't know what to focus on because there's too much shit in the frame, so forgive me if it kind of goes in and out of focus, but it's trying its best. Let me tell you a story, okay? I was scrolling through Makari Japan, as I do, because I like to look and see what's up, and I wasn't looking for anything specific. I think I had literally just searched the word Chongyon in Japanese or something. And I came across this listing. And instantly I was skeptical because I was like, this can't be real. What the hell is this? What, what's going on? However, the listing had this in the photo, which is a pretty big hint as to what the item is. But I'll keep telling the story. So that made me be like, okay, well, perhaps this is a real thing then. Um, what the hell's the tea? So I go digging. I look everywhere. I, I do friggin' reverse image search just to find any information about this. And I find nothing until I go on Japanese Twitter and realize that people who play the Japanese version of the Superstar JYP game had like a lottery event. I think a couple months ago when TWICE came back for the encore shows, right? And this was only in the Japanese version of the game and you could potentially win a photo card or a signed photo card. <laughs> so that's what this is. Um, I'm probably gonna have to put a watermark over it. I'm sorry guys, I don't wanna gatekeep, all right? But I do wanna protect the signature. I'll take it out of the sleeve. So yeah, I actually found a handful of people posting about winning these. So I was like, oh, okay, so that's a thing. You know, people really did win these photo cards signed. And obviously I have this photo card already unsigned. It is the Japanese version of the ready to be tour um, superstar card from back in May. And yeah, this is a little like winner's slip. Now it doesn't specifically say that you won a signed photo card. I think it just says that you won a photo card, but 
that was good enough for me because a handful of people on Twitter had won these signed photo cards and got those same slips. So the signature definitely is on the card. It's not printed on there or anything. And I do want to say as well, these cards look fake as hell. The hollow is shit. The manufacturing is really crap. They're like freebies. And when I first received this original card unsigned in the mail back when it first came out and I bought it, I was so sure it was fake, but it's real. This card is also real. And I believe the signature is real as well. I found another signed Jongyeon. Mind you, I only found one other. So I don't know if there's two per member or what, but you know, I compared the signatures and they both look similar to each other. The other person's signature actually looks a bit better <laughs> than this one, but I am very happy with this. It, to me, it looks real. And I also wouldn't buy something like this if I thought there was a chance it was fake because there are so many fake signed twice things out there. Like, I think we all know this, especially signed photo cards. Like, you've got to be so careful because there are only a handful of like actually verifiably real signed photo cards and they usually come from winning like a lottery or an event, right? Which is what this is. So don't trust signed photo cards unless you have a way to verify them. I had to do a lot of research because nobody was talking about these. This is like seeing this listing was the first time I had heard about the existence of these photo cards being signed. But yeah, I believe it's legit. And it was such a good price that I felt like even if it was a scam, which the likelihood was so low, I was happy to take that risk because it was like disgustingly cheap. I think the person had only just listed it and maybe they weren't aware of like how much this should go for, which like there's no set price or anything, you know what I mean? It's it just depends. But yeah, no, I, I got this for a very low price and I'm happy. I I feel confident that it, it is legit and I am very cautious about these things. I don't just buy sign shit. I don't just buy things, period, without doing my research. So in my humble opinion, this looks real to me and I'm very excited to have it. <laughs> that is not the most exciting thing in this haul because oh I'm like scared to show you guys actually <laughs> I guess I'll just like cut to the chase you can probably guess what it is I probably spoiled it in the thumbnail to be honest but I got another Jonghyun sign Polaroid now this one is disclosed so I can show you but I'm going to censor the signature for obvious reasons again I had to really do some digging and do my research but I feel pretty good about it. I'm not going to lie. This is from Perfect World. And yeah, she looks good to me. I mean, obviously, if you know something I don't and you have a reason to believe that this isn't legit, definitely let me know. But I am pretty happy and the price was very low. That's why I bought it. And obviously it's a risk, you know, but I think she is gorgeous and the signature looks good to me. Obviously, it's like a pretty messy signature. And she didn't write her name underneath, which I know they do quite often. But I compared this with Polaroids from this exact same event because usually they'll do like maybe three, four, five, I don't know, in the same outfit at the same time. So I found other ones from this same thing and it all kind of matched up. So I can't complain until I find reason to believe otherwise. I'm just going to say she's legit and I'm going to add her to my collection. <laughs> so that's Polaroid number two now. And yeah, I'm just, oh, I'm going to chuck her in the middle. Why not? <laughs> I am very satisfied with this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of the 17 and the Pokemon stuff, you know, like, believe it or not, I do have interests outside of twice. <laughs> this has been probably one of my shortest videos, if not the shortest video on my channel so far, but I think a very exciting and fulfilling video nonetheless. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you pretty soon. I have a new video coming hopefully within the next week or so. But if it doesn't come then, then forget I said anything, okay? Sometimes I just be lying, I don't know. But for now, that's it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, by the way. Oh my God, why are you all watching my videos and not subscribing? Like I'm just saying. Goodbye, for real. Thanks for watching.